sound. It's all around us. We hear it everywhere, from the snapping of my fingers to the sound of my voice. But what happens if we wanted to cancel out that sound? We can plug our ears, but there are more effective ways of doing things. Like through headphones. Tech giants like Bose, Sennheiser, and Apple have spent millions of dollars producing headphones that improve the experience of listening by reducing unwanted noise. But how do they work? Sound is measured in waves. The shape of the wave is dependent on the sound produced. When a sound has a higher frequency, the wave has a higher amplitude, and a lower frequency means a lower amplitude. These waves hit our ears, and their vibrations are recognized by the nerves of the ear, and the message is relayed to our brain. Inside these pair of headphones is a microphone. This microphone picks up sound and its frequency and transmits that information to a speaker. The speaker then produces a sound that is the reverse of the data it received. When the two sound waves collide, they create a node, which is silence. Now there are some downsides with noise cancellation technology. For one, the loss of a sense is dangerous as it makes you less aware of your surroundings. These microphones are also very expensive, so the average price of noise cancelling headphones is double that of non-noise cancelling. Hopefully, in the near future, the technology becomes more widespread, therefore bringing up the competition between companies bringing down the price and making it easier for all of us to enjoy some peace and quiet. This is noise cancellation. Somewhere I heard that life is a test. I've been through the worst, but I still get my best. God made my mold different from the rest. Then he broke that mold, so I know I'm blessed.